Hey everybody, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you um, a little mini haul that I did from L3 Waxy Wonders. I asked uh, Jen and Trish if they would pour the Expecto Patronum Palo Santo for me. I hadn't had it in a long time and I was really missing it and they poured it for me. So I went ahead and got two of the fluted parts and a different one. But I have some samples here. I have a um, uh, little sucker, which is cute. Um, and then, so let's go through the samples and then I will talk to you about those three pieces. So it was just a tiny little order. Um, cute bag, by the way. It was just a tiny little order. I just wanted to have a little bit of something uh, with this because I hadn't had it for a while. So here I have a sample of Oh My Gourd. Oh, that smells good. Real fall, real pretty. I like that, very pumpkin. And then there's here, Harvest Sugar Cakes Orange. Ooh, that's orange, orange, and that's probably going to get passed on because for whatever reason lately, I'm not doing well with orange oils in, in um, wax. So as good as that smells, I can tell that it's probably going to be headache-inducing, and I don't want to uh, waste that beautiful sample, so I will pass that on probably during the round robin. This is Eggnog Cinnamon Sugar Gingerbread, and that's really good. That's really, really good, and there's actually two small little samples in there, which is really nice. I like that. Um, I don't think I've ever had an eggnog uh, gingerbread combination, so that's really interesting. I like that. So again, as I was saying, Expecto Patronum Palo Santo, which is White Woods Peppermint and Palo Santo, this was one of the very first scents I ordered from L3. Um, it is actually one of my absolute favorites from them and probably would have made my top 10 list. It probably would have been a top 11 then, but it would have made that list. Uh, the video, I believe, was earlier this week. Um, but I didn't have this on hand and, you know, I just didn't feel right putting it in there. But it is one of my favorites. It is such a crisp, clean scent. Oh, you guys, it's so wonderful. And then that Palo Santo just like, you know, kind of, you know, mellows it out just a little bit. This is so incredibly good. Um, I absolutely love this. This is great if you're feeling congested, but it's great for literally every day. Um, I do melt it more in the... Fall and winter, however, I absolutely love it and am super glad to have some back. I can usually get um, like four melts out of one of these um, little fluted tarts. So that's nice. So I'll have these for a while. While I was in there, I happened to see that she had this black amber uh, lavender mala, which I've never tried and I thought it sounded really interesting. So for the couple extra bucks, I went ahead and got this. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so good. Wow, that's a beautiful scent. I mostly get the black amber, but I equally do get in the background the lavender and the mallow. Um, I think this is going to be a wonderful blend, so this is probably going to end up being another favorite. But yeah, really pretty scent. Um, I'm very excited to give that a try. I've never had it. So again, just a little mini haul. I just wanted to grab mostly these two. Um, especially, like I said, you know, I'd asked her to, to pour it for me and she did. So I wanted to grab those. I grabbed something new and I have a couple samples that I'll try. This one will get passed on. Like I said, it smells good. Gosh, but yeah. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> I know that that's going to be a problem because for whatever reason, orange gives me like major headaches lately. So in any case, guys wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I will try to remember to leave a link for L3 down below for you. And um, I hope you give her a try. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.